हेलो स्क्रीन विजिबल so <clears throat> today's topic is method or you can also say function so in c c++ we call it function and in java we call it method okay so function there are some differences between function and method the main difference is function is independent it means if you want to call a function you can directly call that you can directly call that using the function name but if it is a method so you have to call a specific method in different ways okay like what different ways are there so let's understand the difference in java suppose if you have a class class test suppose we have a class test and inside test we have int num1 comma num2 and uh, int sum suppose this is a class and in a class we have a method inside test class we have a method sum which is returning you some integer type of value so what this sum method is returning you return num1 plus num2 suppose if we have members also int uh, num okay so this is a class test and inside this test class we have two members so one is member data that is the num and other is member method that is the sum so what is the return type of this method sum int it means this method will return some integer type of value like here inside this sum we are passing two values num1 and num2 right we are passing two values num1 and num2 then we are returning num1 plus num2 suppose if we are passing 5 and 6 so it is returning you 5 plus 6 11 if you are passing 10 and 20 so it is returning you 10 plus 20 means 30 so 30 is integer that is why we have written here integer okay so this is a class test and inside this test class we have two members member data num and member method sum now to use a class okay to use a class what we have to do 
we have to create object at first. See, test equal to new test. Okay. If you want to access this num, so what you have to do? P dot num equal to five. Okay. If you want to access a specific member, if it is a member data or member method, what we have to do? We have to create object at first of the class. This is the object reference T. Using this T, you can access any of the properties of this class. This is the first way to access any classes property. Create object at first and then with the object reference, access all the properties like t.num, t.sum. Suppose we want to um, we want to call this sum. So when you call this sum method, you have to pass two integer values and it will return you the sum of those integer values. Okay, it will return you the sum of those integer values. Print p dot num. We have initialized p dot num equal to five. So if you print p dot num, it will print five. And if we are printing t dot sum 10 comma 25, it means at first this method will be called at first this method will be called. Okay, so t dot sum. So we are calling some method and we are passing 10 and 25. So 10 is assigned into num1 and 25 is assigned into num2. So num1 has 10, num2 has 25. 10 plus 25, 35. Return 35. So it is returning integer value. That is the 35. So here it will return 35 and this will print 35. In the first line, we will print 5 and next line, 35. See 5 and 35. If you pass here, 1, 9, it will print 44. Forty-four. Is this program clear to everyone, or do you have any doubt? Tell me. Divin, Niveda, any doubt in this program? No, sir. Okay. So, <clears throat> this is the first way we access properties of a class. There is another way to access properties. Okay. What is the another way? Without creating object. The first way is by creating object of that class using the object reference. You can access the properties. The second way is if you don't want to create object, it is also possible. How? Using the class name. Okay. Using the class name. Suppose we have a method sum. Okay. And we want to call this sum method here. But we don't want to create object. So you can also access properties of a class without creating object using the class name itself. But there is a problem. It will not run. See, it will raise an error. 
non static method sum as this sum method is non static because we have not written static keyword before this sum method so non static method cannot be called without creating object if any method or any member data of a class is non static means you have not declared them static so you have to call them by creating object but if you want to call any property of a class without creating object with the class name itself so you have to declare those properties as static means just write static before everything it means now this sum is static method if we have written static before any function or before any member data it means you have to call it without creating object it means you cannot create object of this static if there is a method static you cannot call it with the help of object reference you cannot create object you have to call it with the class name see now it is okay Twenty-five, twenty-five. It will print fifty. See. So if we are creating a class and we are like declaring some member data and defining some methods, so if member data and method it's static, so you can call those static member data and method directly with the class name itself. and always remember if you are declaring a variable if you are declaring a variable add static always try to initialize that in the class s dot ti okay run if you are declaring a static variable okay if you are declaring a static variable so you have to initialize it just initialize that variable where you are declaring it and to call any static member of a class if it is a member data or it is a member method use just the class name like test.pi test.sum so this is these are the two ways you can access the properties of a class if you are creating object so you can access the property non static properties not static properties if you are creating object of this test class so you cannot call these static methods or static properties using the object reference see suppose st equal to i have not created like this but let's see what happens but it will not access t dot like see dot sum if you execute it so it will dot run sorry test capital t okay run it is still working it means you can pi okay just run it pi means it will print 3.17 see it means you can call static or non static properties through object reference 
and if you want to call properties of a class without creating object so you can call them using class name itself but only static properties not non static properties suppose if we have Hmm. We have a test method. Okay, we are calling test test. This is a test method and test class. You cannot call. See. non static method test cannot be referenced from a static context as this main is also static so with the class name you can call members of this class but only static members not non static members but using object reference you can call non static members and static members as well see if you call it this test method through this t now it is possible see it will print hello it means through this object reference you can call classes static members and non static members also okay but using class name you can call only static members so now tell me is it clear or do you have any doubt divin niveda venkatesh any problem no vishan no vishan okay so these are the two ways you can access properties of a class if you are accessing the properties using the class name so you can only access static properties and using object reference you can access all properties like static or non static both okay so so i got late today so like uh, we have not covered so many topics today but uh, that's all for today and tomorrow we'll be like working with methods types of methods and constructors okay uh, let's see an example also suppose like uh we'll leave it let's we'll discuss it tomorrow because like we will not get much time today okay so now let's understand this line in many interview like people ask about this public static word main string args okay so why it is public in java we have access specifiers private public protected okay we have access specifiers private public and protected public means if you declare any method or any property as public you can access it from anywhere inside the world outside the world you can access it from anywhere that is why it is public if it is private so we will discuss it also in packages okay but for now public means you can access it from anywhere static means if this method is static it means this method can be called from static and non static from class name right what we discussed today like with the class name you can call a method or a classes any property 
if the property is static. So that is why it is static because we are not creating any object of this class to call this method. When we execute a Java program, when we run a Java program, what happens when we run a Java program? So see, always remember, you have to save this file with the class name. Which class name? Because in a single program, we can have multiple classes. In a single Java program, you can have more than one classes. So with which class we will save the file? So the class name, which has main method. Because you can create multiple classes in a single program, but you can create a single main method in a single class. You cannot create main method in multiple classes. Okay. So you can create a single main method. So the class which contains main method, you have to save this file with the name. See here, main.java. See, main.java. Okay. This is the class name. Why it is main.java? Because the class name is main, which has main method that is my main and every java file we save with dot java extension okay so main dot java so when we run this program as this is the main so it is calling main dot main okay it is calling main dot main suppose if see suppose there is an error we have not written semicolon run it what is saying you main dot java See, compilation failed due to following errors. Main.java, this is the line number 5. In line number 5, semicolon expected. It means we are executing main.java. Okay. And we are specifying or we are telling to the compiler that in this main.java file, we have main method. So start executing from there so we are calling this main method without creating object of this main class that is the reason we have declared this main as static why we have declared this main as public because we can call it from anywhere why we have declared this main as static because we can call this method with the class name without creating object. See, we are not creating object of this main class, but when we are executing this, it is printing, sorry, this is wrong. When we are executing this program, running this program, it is printing you hello world. It means this main method is working. So we are not calling main method. If you are talking about C, C++ or Java, it has a special method main. And in C, C++, they have function main, special function main, where the program execution starts. So our program's execution starts with main method. So we are not calling main method by default. When we are running this, by default, Java is calling main method to start executing the program. So when we are calling the main method, so how you can call main method without creating object? So you can only call a method without creating object with its class name itself if the method is declared as static. So why it is public, this main? It is public because it can be called from anywhere. Why it is static? Because this main method can be called without creating the object of this class okay we are not creating object but still it is working and this is the reason why we save the file as the class name which has main method okay so main.java we are telling to the compiler that this main.java file has main method main is the class okay if you write here test See, if you write here test, execute this. Again, run. Compilation failed. Why? Class test is public. Okay. Should be declared in a file named test.java. So 
the file name is main.java and the class name is test so it is finding the main method in main.java file but the main method is inside the test dot test file so it is unable to find this main method because by default it finds main method inside this file main dot so that is the reason you have to save any java program with the same class name which contains main method so you can also change it here see rename java okay if it extends to java again run it now it is okay see hello world because whatever class name you write here you have to save the file with this class name dot java and inside that class name which you are using to save the file inside this class you have to declare main method define the main method so main method is public what is the reason because it can be called from anywhere outside the class outside the package why it is static because main method we can call without creating the object of this class why it is void this is method name main and this is its return type so this method is returning nothing we are not returning any data integer data float data so if we are not returning anything to the main that is why we have written void so tomorrow we will discuss about this void like where we use void void means nothing okay so this method is returning nothing that is why it is void why it is main because in c c plus plus java python whatever the programming language is main is a special keyword special method special function where our programs execution starts with okay so our programs execution starts with this main method what is this string arguments ARGS, you can change it. Q W E R T Y. Okay, no problem. You can change it. This is just a variable name and nothing else. So this is an array. It means you can pass multiple parameters here. And what kind of parameters you can pass? String values. You can pass multiple string values here. And you can access all those values using this quality variable. But this ARGS is meaningful like arguments. Whatever we pass inside a method, we call them arguments or parameters or values. We can pass multiple values. See, values. You can access all those values. You can access all those values. So, public means. It can be called from anywhere. Static means it can be called without creating the object. Void means it is returning nothing. Main is a special keyword or a special method name where our program's execution starts with inside C, C, Java, Python in every language. Okay. Main is special thing. And this is the parameter list which we are passing into main method. So you can also pass multiple things. We can also discuss it later in command line argument topic. If you want to pass some value into main method, how you can pass that? So we can also pass. So here you can pass multiple values. Why it is a string? String means it can accept integer 11, 12, 15, 5. It can be string. It can also accept float values 12.5. Inside string, you can also store Boolean value, true false. Inside string, you can also store string value. That is why it is string like buffer reader. Inside buffer reader, everything buffer reader considers a string value. So it is also considering everything as a string value. And later you can change it to integer float double. So why it is string values, string array? This is the sign of array. Means you can pass multiple string values here. Okay, so this is the meaning. You can pass multiple values. And why it is string? Because if you write int, you cannot pass float and string. But if you write string, you can pass int, float, cat, double, boolean, short, long, every kind of value. And later you can convert them into their respective data types. Why it is main? Because main is a special keyword, special method, which is called automatically when we execute any program in C, C, Java, Python. Okay. 
why it is void because it is returning nothing why it is static because we can call it without creating object with the class name itself why it is public because you can call it from anywhere that's all so today's class is over let's connect tomorrow and tomorrow's topic will be method method overloading and constructor okay